Hey, what's up? Alex from Motion Lad here, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to prepare any animated typeface to work with the Font Manager. If you have originally created your typeface with the Font Manager, you can jump to the step 4. Or if you have all characters sorted into the compositions and folders, you can jump to the step 2. So let's begin with the step 1 and create a typeface structure. Here I have a typeface that is based on the pre rendered characters. Let's import all footages into the After Effects. Drop them in one folder and create a new composition that would fit the footage dimensions and drop there our videos. Then make sure that the first character in the name of the layer is the actual glyph. Rename them if it's necessary. Then select all your layers, click Layers to Come button and name your typeface. After that, Font Manager will automatically create individual compositions for each of your glyphs. Sort them into the folders and add a comment to your main typeface folder. And then you need to nest your footage folder under the typeface folder. Let's make sure that our typeface has the following structure. The main typeface folder that has a comment typeface, space, and your font name. Nested folders, uppercase, lowercase, numbers and symbols. And compositions inside them. Then make sure that all your compositions include only the character names without any explanation. Now we have to make sure that all character layers are sitting at the right places and to check that we will add guide characters. Under the right tab of Font Manager, click Refresh button and select your typeface from the drop-down menu. Then create a composition that has the same dimensions as your character's composition. Create a text layer with any letter using the font and the size that was originally used for the typeface. If your typeface is not based on any existing font, you can use a lookalike font. So, select your text layer, go to the Setup tab of Font Manager and click Add Guide Characters button. Font Manager will process everything and then we need to go through each composition and check the position of the characters and move them if it's necessary. After that, we can delete the guide characters by clicking on the A icon near the Add Guide Characters button. Once again, under the right tab of Font Manager, click Refresh button and select your typeface from the drop down menu. If you haven't, create a composition that has the same dimensions as your character's compositions, create a text layer with any letter using font and the size that was used for the typeface. If your typeface is not based on any existing font, you can use Lookalike font. Then select your text layer and click Add Kerning and Metrics button. At this step you will require to get an AFM file from your font, so click on any of these buttons and convert your typeface online. After you have converted the font, go back to After Effects, click on this button and select AFM file for your typeface. Font Manager will add the metrics and kerning, if it's available, to your animated typeface. And to confirm that everything went well, you can use the Demo All Glyphs button to create a presentation of all your characters. If you need to change any character metrics, you can open the character's composition and change the width settings under the metrics layer using the grid effect. You can also do a few customization under the metrics composition of your typeface, such as set the leading spacing between the lines by changing the position of the baseline and caps layers, and set the default spacing value under the settings layer. Font size value is used for the kerning, so I don't recommend you to change it in order to keep the kerning values accurate. That's it, I hope you'll find it useful and I'll see you in the next tutorials.